Hello YouTube! Today I'm here to bring you a different kind of game streaming video. So in my past videos, I've mentioned more than once that you can have a great game streaming experience with something as simple as a Raspberry Pi or as simple as an Android phone. And uh, in my last video, I showed you guys how to set up a cloud gaming computer combining Paperspace and Parsec. And I showed you how well that works when you're streaming that gaming computer to another computer. And they got me thinking, you know, what about the, the potential gamer out there that doesn't have a gaming computer or even a basic computer? What if all they have is an Android phone? Could you still have just an Android phone and maybe combine that with a cloud gaming computer? And how would that look and how would that be? You know, would that be enough to be your complete gaming experience? So I decided that today we're going to test that theory. We're going to see what that's really like. So when you look in front of me, I've got a very, very basic Android phone. This is actually a first generation LG Stylo from about four years ago. And uh, you can see it's, it's kind of a cruddy phone. So the screen is cracked. Um, it's very basic. It was even cheap when it first came out and it's old. So I figured that you know if, if you can game decently on this, then the phones that most of you have around are probably gonna be better. So if you've got a newer Samsung or a Pixel or you know, one of the OnePlus series, it's gonna be even better than what I'm showing you on this. So this is kind of a proof of concept video. If I can do it with you know, this lower end hardware, think of what you could do with your stuff. Now this phone has a 720p screen and you'll notice that in the video that I'm about to show you, um, the quality of the video is gonna be a little bit lower than the other ones that I've made because we're limited by what the screen on this phone can display. And I'm gonna be using this Moga $5 gamepad that I got the other day to control everything. So this is gonna be as basic as it can possibly get. And uh, there are definitely better phones out there and better gaming controllers for Android. So if you really wanted to do this exclusively with just a phone and a cloud gaming server, your experience could be a lot better than what I'm about to show you. So take this as encouragement because what I'm about to show you is actually pretty decent and it could be even better for you. So what'll happen next is I'm gonna cut over to a, a screen capture that I made. So if you look on here, I've got a screen capturing app so I'm actually gonna be recording what the phone itself displays as I game on the cloud gaming uh, server. So you'll see what I see in real time. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll come back and we'll talk a little bit about what we saw. And uh, we'll, we'll just kinda talk about what we think about that, you know, whether that really could be a complete gaming machine when you combine that with a cloud server. So on the next screen, you will see some gameplay. Now I'm not gonna be talking during that gameplay, but I will come back and talk at the very end.
force is strong, but you are not. All right, so that was pretty cool. Um, I think we, you would agree that that was a pretty decent gaming experience altogether. So when you look at that video, there's a couple things to keep in mind. Um, one is that, you know, like we said at the beginning, this phone only has a 720p screen, so therefore the video that we you know, capture from the phone can only be 720p. So that does take a little bit of the, the quality away compared to a full 1080p device. So on your devices, you know, assuming that you have a 1080p or higher screen, it's going to look better than what you just saw in my video. Um, but I w what I do want you to take away from the video is that everything was really smooth. I think you could tell from my reactions and, and how I played that things were pretty decent, you know, in terms of my experience on the phone. Now, on the phone right now, I'm showing you inside the Parsec app. So you'll see my local gaming computer and the cloud machine that we just played on. And I want to show you some settings because these things really dictate how the experience kind of goes. So in the settings, you'll see that I've got the remote resolution set to 720p. So I'm, I'm matching it to the phone. Um, bandwidth, I've got at 20. Now I did test going up to 30 just to see if we can improve the quality of everything just a little bit. And it, it caused the video to be out of sync so that the controller latency was extreme. And then I've got the maximum FPS set at 40. Um, I did try to bump that up to 60 on this phone. And same thing, it caused the controller latency to be extreme and it wasn't really playable at that point. So I, I did play around a lot before taking this video. And uh, these were the maximum settings that I could choose for the phone to have decent quality on the screen, but also have really low controller lag so that I could actually play the game and have it feel like I was sitting in front of a computer or a console. And uh, with these settings, it was pretty decent. And I do want to mention that also in that video, the screen recording software that I was using on the phone does take away a little bit of the quality as well. So in real life, it actually does look a little bit crisper than what you saw in the video. But uh, overall, I'm, I was pretty impressed, especially with using a low quality phone and a low quality controller. I felt that that was pretty good. And even more impressively, we were streaming that from a cloud gaming computer across the internet. So that server that we're streaming from is located in New York and I'm physically located in Ohio. So altogether, that's awesome. Now the Android version of Parsec is currently in beta, like it's a test version and they haven't implemented all of the controls that you find on the PC. So just as an example, on the PC, you can actually tweak the quality settings even beyond what we see on the phone right here. 
So you can tweak both the, the bandwidth and you can tweak the compression of the video. And we found that on the PC, um, we chose a balanced profile that did a little bit of compression on the video to make it easy to stream, but it also allowed it to look really good. And I wish they had something like that for the Android version, and maybe in the future they will, because like I said, this is a very early version of the, of the Android client, and I'm sure there's a lot of work left to be done on it. But uh, overall, I think it's impressive, and I do think that you know if you're somebody that has a very decent Android phone, and you want to just pay for the amount of time that you play through a cloud server, I think you could absolutely get away with having that be your primary gaming machine. And uh, overall, it's awesome. So at the end of this video, you'll see links to look at my past videos. So if you're interested in the cloud gaming thing, then take a look. There'll be a link for the tutorial on how to set up the cloud gaming computer. In that video, I also included a promo code that gets you $10 worth of credit with paper space. So that's enough to set up your cloud gaming computer and have a few hours of free gameplay. So feel free to check those out. There's also other how-to videos about getting the most out of Parsec and just about game streaming in general. And uh, you know, if you have any questions, you'll probably find the answer in those videos. And as always, subscribe to the videos. Um, feel free to throw a couple likes out there so that other people can see the videos. You know, share them with your friends. Follow me on Twitter. And until next time, you guys have a good one.